aquí en San Sebastián? Por lo menos 2.000 ya vivirá, porque hay muchísimos. Yo monto en el autobús y vengo más extranjeros que españoles. No te digo, a mí me encanta. Yo no me he movido de aquí jamás. Siempre me he quedado aquí. Llevo ya del 98 que vine hasta la altura estoy aquí, en Donosti. No me muevo. Tengo muy poca relación con gente vasca, amistades, muy poco. Hay que relacionarse, ¿sabes? Integrarse, más que nada. Eso es el paso principal que tienen que hacer. Integrarse y decir, somos de aquí ahora, que vivimos aquí, somos de aquí. Y vivir como viven los de aquí. Se tienen que, que amoldar aquí. Yo, muchos dicen que aprenden vasco, pero yo todavía, todavía no he visto a ningún inmigrante que hable vasco, por ejemplo. O ir a un frontón y ni un, y ni un inmigrante, o ir no, cosas de aquí. Parece que les cuesta. Ni usted que hay en bat, está aquí te la integra tu artenic. Para los calculturas barne, hay en bat. Mi nombre es Margarita María Castaño Díaz. Soy de Colombia. Ella era estilista, siempre trabajé con el cabello y las uñas. Y ahora, pues limpiando, me salió un trabajo de limpiadora y ya me la paso limpiando. Yo he hecho la comida con mucho cariño. Yo lo único que quiero es que les guste. La carne es un, un redondo de ternera, pues nosotros le decimos muchacho relleno. Y un arroz que es mixto, con mucha verdura. Y una ensalada también típica de allí que es con repollo morado, tomate, cebolla, cilantro. Y de entrante, plátano macho que llaman, a, llaman acá. ¿Tú crees que será mucha comida? Yo creo que no, porque aquí también comen muy bien. A mí acá me parece que comen súper bien. Los vascos son, no son muy abiertos. Pero, sin embargo, son muy buena gente porque toda la gente que ha hablado hasta ahora ha sido muy amable conmigo. Pero sí, no es, no es expansivo a lo mejor. Que a veces son callados, que les cuesta a veces como hablar. Vaya, un harto dirá, baña. baña. baña torneña. Vaya, pero creo que me vaya. Es o la coma que queréis. Vaya, sí que está naigabe. Al principio son cerrados, pero cuando los conoces te brindan mucho su amistad, su apoyo. Al principio es como que no sabes quién te llega y, y el impacto, pero ya después mira súper bien. Y me han parecido chévere, pues abiertos a hablar. Muy bien, muy buena la comida, muy agradable la familia y... Muy con ganas, ¿no? Todo hecho se le notaba a Margarita, que había hecho con mucha gana y muy preocupada por que os guste esto y lo otro y no sé qué. Yo creo que en ese momento alguien le dice que no le gusta algo y la pobre se, se pondría hasta triste. Eso también gusta, ¿no? Saber que te están esperando y recibirte con esa alegría y... Está muy bien. Va tú tan... Esa tenga... Tenga crisis a buena esta... Gente que usted va... Me vengo ahí... Lana, que encendía el baño, ni usted te sé. Los necesitamos, porque ellos hacen los trabajos que nosotros no querríamos hacer aquí. Por al mes que trabajo en Rumanía, cobraré igual 150 o 200 euros. Y aquí que trabajo de limpieza, cobro 800 euros. Hombre, hay gente que trabajará. Pero trabajará, pero te sacarán todo, todo el poco dinero que tengas, ¿eh? Eso también te lo digo. En vengo al Dutel, en vengo a es normal en esa añona de eh, Torquiñaquín, por mi coreal la tuvo. La primera vez que yo vine aquí, que me causó admiración, porque me fui a un bar de aquí a pedir trabajo y me dijeron que además no aceptaban negros ni negras. Y ahí sí que me. Me pasó, bueno, me pasó una vez que fui a pagar y es como que me tiran el dinero ahí, y pues eso no me gustó. Lo distinto. Lo distinto nos asusta, parece, pero es distinto nada más. Yo, como soy gay, mi familia siempre me obligaba para casarme con una chica, pero yo siempre digo que soy gay, que si le gusta a mi familia le gusta y que si no me separo de ellos. Pero no me puedo casar con una chica para hacerle daño y aparte los hijos que tengo con ellas. Yo lo único que le pido a la gente 
que se respeten a la uno, cada uno tan como es. Si no, si no roban, para mí que vengan todos los que quieran. Y no matan, porque matan a muchos, ¿eh? V našej krajine žije pomerne málo cudzincov. Neviem si predstaviť, na čo by tu chodili. Ja si myslím, že na Slovensku žije okolo... okolo 5000... až 10 tisíc cudzincov. Myslím si, že na Slovensku žije okolo 10 tisíc cudzincov. Ja by som si dovolila ich počet odhadnúť niekoľko desiatok tisíc. Možno aj takých 70 až 100 tisíc. Ja, myslím, že na Slovensku žije okolo 200 tisíc cudzincov. Na Slovensku podľa mňa žije okolo 500 tisíc cudzincov. Ja som to nepočítal, ale podľa štatistiky malo by to byť tak asi okolo milióna. Ale na Slovensku? Na Slovensku, áno. Milión cudzincov? Cudzincov, áno. No, o našich dnešných hostiach vieme len to, že sú z Bangladeža. On učí na univerzite a majú nejakú reštauráciu indickú. I'm Zora Hassan. I'm uh, here from 2005. I'm here for my manžel, for my husband. No, som Hassan Tamal. Prišiel som 93 rokmi. Prišiel som toto študovať. Potom som pokračoval na PhD. Mentálne učím na Ekonomické univerzite obchodnej fakulte Petržalke. Jaj. Slováci vnímajú cudzincov rôzne. Asi to záleží od skúseností alebo od nejakého vnútorného nastavenia. Ale aj tak si optimisticky myslím, že väčšina Slovákov príjma, príjma cudzincov pozitívne. Podľa mňa väčšina Slovákov sú rasisti aspoň čiastočne. Ja si myslím, že Slováci sú rasisti. Some people uh, it like this. Why I'm here? Why? What I'm doing here? I should not be here like this. So that is bad for me. No, všeobecný názor Slovákov na cudzincov je, že nás ohrozujú a berú nám prácu. E, môj vzťah k cudzincom je skôr negatívny. Tá mentalita a kultúra niekedy nemusí padnúť do našej mentality a kultúry Slovákov a často sa nezhodneme. Môj vzťah k cudzincom je, dá sa povedať, taký neutrálny, pokiaľ nezasahujú do do nejakého môjho postredia a môjich spôsobov života, tak ich akceptujem. Slováci sú dosť konzervatívni, oproti možno iným francúzom, angličanom, ťažšie sa tu žije, aj teda ťažšie sa asimiluje cudzinci. Majú to tu ťažké, to je tá spoločná rysa. Oproti iným západným krajinám, 
to tu majú oveľa oveľa ťažšie a sú takí tí exotickejší ako v iných krajinách. If you are dark skin or black guy like me, you can be easily noticed and people in the bus would be uh, staring at you and you need to get used to it. I think that they're open to foreigners who look like them. So it's harder if you're black or Asian. According to my personal experience, there were some people who were a little bit, you know, narrow-minded. Narrow-minded. Uh, maybe they can develop uh, their mind. Everything is okay. Teším sa, že snáď im zachutí, čo sme im pripravili. Pak sme zvolili, že urobíme sviečkovú nasmotanie, takú klasiku a domácu knedlu a vývar zo sliepky. A proste sme sa snažili, aby to naozaj bolo chutné a aby, aby teda ich to nejako nerozčarovalo. Už aj preto, že teda majú reštauráciu, takže asi majú nastavený nejaký ten, tú úroveň degustačnú. Veľmi mi záleží na tom, aby to dobre dopadlo a aby sa u nás cítili ako doma. Je dobré, aj keď je takýto nejaký možno umelý impuls na to, aby sa ľudia, rôzni ľudia teda stretávali, lebo niekedy to proste život tak nezariadí. To je milé. Ďakujem pekne. Mám pocit, že im putilo, zjedlo sa skoro všetko, to je jeden z, teda z evidentných znakov. Všetci pochválili a mala som pocit, že to nebolo len také formálne. Áno, zostanem na kontakty aj v odosnosti. Cudzincov netreba označovať tým, že cudzinci, ale vlastne môj postoj je taký, že sa snažím v každom nájsť to, že pre teda, akože človeka. In everywhere, in Slovakia, in Italy, in India even. There are some two types of people, good people, bad people. So also same in Slovakia, there are good people, bad people. Slováci sú aj... Na Slovensku je sú aj dobré ľudia. Uh, every people is um, not so bad. <laughs> Slovakish people are uh, nice people and uh, have to give little smile because they are... Uh, yeah, they are close. So deprimovaní, so... Um smutný a niečo, niečo živé im niekedy chýba. Na vzťahu Slovákov k cudzincom zatiaľ by som nič nemenil. Tento vzťah mi vyhovuje, pretože som konzervatívny a viem, že Slováci sú opatrní a toto mi vyhovuje. Ale ja si myslím, že že cudzinca sa v prvom rade netreba báť a skôr, skôr príjmať nejaké, nejaké niečo nové, niečo pozitívne. Celkom ma zaujal tento projekt. Myslím si, že je to veľmi dobré, aby sa do pozornosti na Slovensku takéto veci dostávali. Som za každú srandu. Firenze è una città ormai multiculturale, cioè ci sono stranieri 
dappertutto, cioè si vedono sull'autobus, eh, camminando per la strada. Prevalentemente comunque si tratta di, di ragazzi, ragazzi con tanti sogni nel cassetto, oppure anche padri di famiglia che purtroppo eh, vengono da dei paesi disperati e si aggrappano a qualunque, a qualunque speranza eh, per poter dare un futuro dignitoso ai loro figli. Oh, secondo me fanno tutte parte di un'organizzazione che li fa venire in Italia, gli promette mare e molti, poi quando vengono qua non hanno soldi, non sanno come fare per tornare, o si adeguano a quello che vogliono loro, muoiono di fame. Qua a fine 88 si era, c'è il mio fratello Italia, lui mi ha chiesto vieni in Italia con me e mi portava, e tanto lo sa, era come viene in Italia, come entrano, no? C'è la entrata da segreto. Quindi ho entrato come segreto e senza documenti. Ci sono molti che lavorano, non ci, ci illudiamo che siamo tutti a rubare. Eh? C'è chi viene a lavorare e c'è chi viene a fare del male. Ricordiamoci che noi per cent'anni siamo stati, come sono loro adesso verso di noi, siamo andati a destra a cercare di lavorare. Quando so, arrivavano in America, i primi a contattare erano le organizzazioni mafiose non sapeva come fare per mangiare, rubavano, ammazzavano, morivano, magari c'aveva la famiglia a casa, cioè, bisogna anche vedere queste tante cose. Io diciamo che eh, ho delle esperienze dirette con persone straniere perché vivo in una casa con sei persone, di cui quattro sono straniere, c'è un ragazzo cileno, una, eh, un ragazzo belga, un altro svizzero e un, ora c'è una ragazza ospite che viene spesso che è messicana e un altro ragazzo iraniano. Noi abbiamo, facciamo delle, delle verdure al forno, le patate al forno, abbiamo fatto due dolci. Uno lo farò io con una torta molto semplice con la mela, un'altra torta, un torta l'ha fatta il ragazzo svizzero. E noi viviamo tutti insieme cioè, ed è molto bello perché ognuno poi racconta eh, le cose del suo paese, si sente parlare lingue diverse. Ho fatto anche ho fatto indiano riso indiano, e riso è saltato un fadella e questo riso cantonese, si chiamano così, e poi il nostro paese dicono anche polpetti e pollo di curry. Allora, io so che sono una famiglia di sei persone, babbo, mamma e quattro bambine. Hanno portato via il lavoro a parecchi italiani, se non è che sia una cosa... Secondo me c'è un accordo tra le nazioni, mille boni e 10.000 poco boni ti si fa mettere l'azienda laggiù e tu vendi, secondo me. Come posso, posso sbagliare, però secondo me funziona così. Noi veniamo un paese diverso. Quindi deve avere una cosa anche parte nostra e imparare la cultura dove viviamo paese. Molto aperto, però è no, meglio di, 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 di nostro paese, sono molto aperto. Qua sono gente brava, tu sei bravo con qualcuno, allora anche loro sono bravi. Capito? Sono simpaticissimi, davvero dico sul serio. Poi sono belli e ho trovato un mio amore in Italia. Importante che rimangono le tradizioni di ambi due paesi. Aspetti negativi e io non, cioè non ne trovo. Ci sono aspetti molto belli. Da parte mia mi sta bene perché alcune cose che non si vendevano si vendono a loro. Cose che non erano sotto costo adesso sono tramite loro sono, hanno limitato i prezzi. Arricchimento se, se fanno un lavoro in cui riescono a esprimere le proprie capacità sì. Diciamo che in generale può essere una ricchezza perché comunque fanno lavori che gli italiani non farebbero. Cioè magari stanno un mese, due mesi fuori col camion, non, fanno lavori che comunque un italiano non vorrebbe fare, preferisce magari un'altra vita. Io penso che bisogna abbandonare un po' 
eh, l'ideologia che l'italiano è l'italiano e lo straniero è lo straniero. Io penso che tutti siamo figli di un'unica terra che è il nostro, la nostra terra e, e quindi bisogna rispettarci tutti insieme. Che il mondo è a uno, né un bello né brutto, è il rapporto fra le persone che lo fa bello e brutto. Io vorrei dire agli italiani innanzitutto di non aver paura, perché secondo me cioè, tutti i pregiudizi, i pregiudizi che ci sono vengono da, dal fatto che cioè, le persone sono spaventate, perché lo straniero fa paura, lo straniero ruba bambini, lo straniero è cattivo, lo straniero spaccia, lo straniero non è solo questo, cioè, anche gli italiani spacciano, anche gli italiani sono cattivi, cioè, siamo tutti uguali. Se tu vivi a Loma, vai alla Lomana, no? No, io sarei molto interessato a vedere se il Stato italiano si dà da fare a capire che è una risorsa questa qui e che questi stranieri non vengono qui per lavorare, per mandare soldi a casa, a vederli come una risorsa per far crescere anche l'Italia. E sono contenti. E così anche batto anche bel pranzo. Non è il pranzo che è la che aspettavo sicuramente perché la progetto quando mi ha spiegato io aspettavo un altro pranzo allora andava molto bene loro sono una famiglia molto simpatica aperta no e poi ci hanno raccontato un sacco di cose del, del loro paese si vengono pensieri vengono pensieri come mai che fai lui questi capelli come mai lui così fa per me vengono pensieri quindi per me sembra non è normale la mia per me perché hai diversi pace, diversi capelli, diversità delle persone sempre normali. Ti danno un po', un po' di pensarlo. Mentre mangiando non si passa, i pensieri si vengono. Perché io sono, perché credo io sono una persona normale. Per me di qui si dovuta da pensarlo. Biztos, hogy a soha nem tesz rosszat, ha egy országba jönnek a külföldiek. Ez pozitív. Rengeteg barátom és ismerősöm van, aki be ugye fele-fele arányban, egyrészt magyar, másrészt valami más országból érkezett emberke, így alkot egy családot, és akkor itt ragadnak leginkább. Nekem a legjobb barátnőm az kurd és magyar. És ő most már Kurdisztánban él, de eddig itt élt Magyarországon, de még vannak barátaim, van kínai is. Születtem, nem Magyarországon születtem, Indonéziában születtem, Egyiptomban nőttem fel, és, és ugye az, a, amilyen én lettem, az nagy mértékben meghatározta az, hogy nem itthon nőttem fel. Szeretettel várjuk őket, kíváncsiak vagyunk, főztünk. Leves. Milyen leves? Lence. És... Rizs. És dolma. És... Dolma az úgy jelent. Zöld paprika, és beleraknak rizst, és szarma, szőlőlevébe raknak rizst, és 
Barmanke baba. Várom egyszerűen, hogy egy újabb baráttal, illetve baráti párral gazdagodom. Él egy külföldi család, akik teljesen elfogadták a, a, a magyarországi életet, itt szeretnének élni, és hogy ők milyen szinten próbálják például, ugye ők jó példa arra is, hogy ők nem csak itt élnek, hanem az apuka elég telékenyen részt vesz abban, hogy, hogy a két kultúrát megpróbálja egymáshoz közelíteni. Eladják a földeket, meg hogy itt az Andrássy úton mondjuk el vannak adva külföldieknek a lakások, és itt állnak üresen, és nem lehet vele mit kezdeni, az nyilván egy probléma. Nehéz már nálunk is, ugye nincs annyira munka lehetőség, tehát a magyaroknak sem, mert ezért inkább elmennek tovább. Így gondolom én. Láttam a Magyarországon olyan nehéz, emberek mennek máshova, és akkor mindig annyit tudom, jó lesz egyszer, sehova nem könnyű, minden né. Én úgy gondolom, hogy jobban van lehetőségük külföldieknek itt dolgozni, mint magyaroknak itt dolgozni Magyarországon. Azóta tanító, török nyelvet is, pedig közben matek is. Jök erről jó véleménnyel, hogy hogyan fogadjuk mi a külföldieket itt Magyarországon. Some of them, they come to my desk and they said, what are you doing here, what are you doing here, go back to your country, go back to Africa. You're doing our job. Én azt gondolom, hogy azért nekünk nem ártana egy picit nyitottabbnak lenni. Elfogadják mászik, elfogadják idegenben, külföldre kik vannak. Nagyon jól éreztük szerintem magunkat, nagyon finom volt az evét. A gyerekek bűbályosak. Pont az, amiről beszéltem korábban, hogy úgy gondolom, hogy azok a gyerekek, akik több nyelven nőnek fel, azok sokkal nyitottabbak a világra. És ez úgy gondolom, hogy mindegyik kislányból áradt. Ez a fajta nyitottság és kedvesség. Kinek kedve adódik, és úgy érzi, hogy itt jól érzi magát, aztán szeretettel várjuk, de hát toborozni azért nem kellene. Ik denk gewoon dat er in België toch al een paar miljoen migranten leven van verschillende nationaliteiten. Uh, ik denk dat er een vierde van de bevolking buitenlanders zijn. Ik denk iets meer, ik denk meer een derde. Uh, ze zijn naar België gekomen voor dus een ander leven op te bouwen. Voor dus hier aan werk te geraken, dat ze in hun eigen land niet aan het werk geraken. En welke nationaliteiten? Oh, Marokkanen, Turken. Polen, Italianen. So my name is Hongling Liu. Uh, I come from China. 
and、uh, I lived here. I lived in Belgium since 2008. Je m'appelle Zhu Peng. Je viens à Belgique depuis six ans、euh, comme étudiant. Après trois ans d'études, je commençais à travailler à Dimister dans une société de import export.、Uh, I own a sushi bar with another girl in Brussels. So the whole week I stay in Brussels, and the weekend I came back at home. And you had a pretty or fair feeling there. There are a lot of Chinese restaurants here that you can eat Chinese food very easily. But today we we, we are trying to provide something new and、uh, special, the traditional Chinese food. That I hope that they really enjoy that. We hope that they will like it. We can exchange the idea of the Chinese food. I think it's good to be in a good family to come to a Chinese family. I'm very interested in how to eat it. It exists in the Chinese restaurant. It's really the traditional plate in China. We would like also to to talk about with the native people. You know, like France, we know something, the culture, even in the on the table. You know, to eat something, maybe we can learn about this also. Bonjour, hello, hello. Een kwestie van vriendelijkheid, ja. Dat staan slik met Belgen, hè? Die ene zijn vriendelijk en de andere zijn niet vriendelijk. Die ene houdt van mij te leven en de andere niet. Normally, the Chinese people they are quite busy, and like me, I work six days a week, so we don't really have time to make friends. And here, I think the the men normally the men they are very family、uh, orient orientation. I mean, they they care about their family and、uh, even more than their job. Ça m'a fait plaisir de rencontrer la famille de Belge. Ils sont bien charmants. On est, on est bien communiqué, mais ils m'ont donné beaucoup de connaissances de local de Belgique. We had、uh, a pleasant time together, and we would like to try also the Belgian food. <laughs> Het negatieve is,、uh, er zijn vooroordelen genoeg. They are a little bit stubborn. <laughs> Difficult to change their mind, also, like、um, especially for the Flemish people, I think. Bedoel me negatief is dat ze ons slecht slecht bezien, zien zien de allochtonen echt slecht. Ja, de vooral de jongeren vind ik dat die soms toch nogal、uh, uitdagend zijn tegenover、um, tegenover ouderen, vind ik Belgische mensen. Ik kom met de generatie. Maar dat er vroeger dus geen migranten waren en degenen die hier aangekomen zijn, ja, er waren goede bij en er waren slechte bij en slecht dan toud altijd beter als het goed, denk ik dat zo iets is. Een beetje van trouwig sta ik er tegenover. Vroeger zelf mee altijd in de klas gezeten en een beetje slechte, niet echt goede ervaringen mee. Dus ik denk dat we van elkaar niet veel, niet veel weten. Je ondervindt veel racisme, inderdaad. Dat kan niet bestopt worden. De algemene opinie van een Belg tegenover een buitenlander is volgens mij:、uh, ze denken altijd dat buitenlanders slecht zijn en uh, nogal uh, cru. De algemene opinie is de laatste jaren absoluut niet goed. Mijn boodschap naar iedereen toe is:、uh, werk samen en heb respect voor iedereen. Pour le cas de famille, c'est pour rencontrer les familles étrangères. Ils sont, ils seraient contents parce qu'ils ont besoin d'amis, de local. And for the immigrants, I think that they don't really focus on the work or making money. They also should learn something about the society that they are living now. Vous pouvez essayer passer le 
inviter la famille locale d'abord parce qu'ils ne sont... Ils sont... Ils savent pas comment communiquer avec les étrangères. Mais vous pouvez, vous pouvez demander d'abord. Je crois qu'ils sont... Ils seraient contents. Kámoš mi furt říká, že prej Češi jako nemají rádi cizinci, ale jako necítil jsem to ještě. Oni jsou všichni hodní, tak nevím, co má za problém, takže... A bude Čech? Ne. A bude? On je půl Rus a půl Ital. Záleží taky na to, odkud ty cizinci jako takový jsou, protože um, vím, že třeba trošku tu problém třeba s Rusama. Znám spoustu lidí, co je nemají rádi a vážně jim dělají ze života peklo, snaží si jim to co nejvíc stížit. Oh, we don't have uh, lots of um, Czech friends here. Vůči Rusům tady byl ten předsudek, ten rok 68, anebo víceméně i taková ta výmluva, že za všechno špatné, co za socialismu tady bylo, takže jako my v podstatě za to ani tak nemůžeme, že to všechno ti Rusové. Proto jsem byl i rád, že třeba bychom měli možnost se potkat s ruskou, s ruskou rodinou, protože přeze všechno to, přes tu masáž, kterou já jsem zažil v dětství, o lásce k sovětskému svazu a podobně, my o těch Rusech vlastně vůbec nic nevíme. Máme pořád pocit, že ten východ je špatný, že se tam nic nového neděje. Češi jako si myslím, jsou trošičku xenofobní nebo malinko, ale to je spíš díky neznalosti, protože nemají, neměli dlouhá léta nějaké informace o tom, co se děje venku nebo co se děje mimo území České republiky a když potom ti cizinci přišli po roce 89, tak pro mnohé to bylo překvapení, vůbec nevěděli, co mají čekat nebo co se děje za humny. Co, co čeká, že se dozvíme zase něco o Rusku, třeba něco, co nevíme? <laughs> Seznámení zase se zajímavými lidmi, no. protože to vždycky člověka může obohatit, obohati, když pozná zajímavého člověka. Já se vždycky spíš divím, že ty cizinci se sem stěhují, protože mně přijde, že všude jinde to je prostě lepší než tady. No. Mě tady líbí, tady je klid, bezpečnost. People are nice, but they're not, they're not really friendly. We, ha we had some situations where people weren't really friendly with us. They never laughed. I think they're, they're never laughing or smiling. And yeah, and they are very serious all the time. I think they, it's mainly they should be all like uh, Schweiks. Well, Schweik has a diagnosis that he, he was an idiot. Was he 100% uh, Idiot, or if he hundred percent, or was he hundred percent pretending he is? They saw a hereditary nation. They saw they saw the cameras. Zabzeni, Xenophobic, Himalov. I could say they're very non-confrontational. 
It's people tend to keep to themselves. They're usually not too friendly on the streets. Unless you don't know somebody, you usually don't say ahoy. It's always dobri den. I don't like Czech people because I think they are like a little bit rude. Prague is full of foreign people and, and I don't like their behavior with us. Pán má nějaký tělesný handicap, že pravděpodobně na vozíčku hmm. a... Že kreslí nějak? Nebo počítačové hmm. hmm. A paní, jestliže pracovala jako, jestli, jako novinářka nebo to pro svobodnou Evropu nebo pro hmm. něco takového, hmm. ale jinak právě nevíme, jsme zvědaví. Zvědaví. <laughs> Něco trošku jiného, než jsem čekal, jako je to velmi zajímavý pár, který to asi nemá v životě úplně jednoduché, ale velmi pozitivní, nevím, z toho setkání. Mm. Bylo to příjemné. <laughs> nice place, nice people, nice children. There was one child. Hmm? Nice one child. <laughs> Příjemná přátelská debata rodina, rodina o umění, o rodině. Mm. Zajímavé. Co by měli Češi zlepšit ve vztahu k cizincům? Jídlo. Jídlo a klima. A málo to slunce by bylo víc. A to je všechno. Your beer is great and your goulash could be better. Nebojte se cizinců. My taky lidi. <laughs> Jak vy. <laughs> Jak vy. Try to communicate with us and be more polite. That's it. Cizincům, kteří přijdou sem do Čech, bych doporučila, aby se opravdu naučili byť tak strašně těžký jazyk, jako je čeština. Protože bez jazyka se integrovat nelze. Communication is really important, so if it will be nicer if they know uh, a little bit more English. Lidi, neuzavírejte se, scházejte se, <laughs> radujte se. <laughs>
Well, I moved here seven years ago. Um, I got married here, I'm married to a Maltese, Maltese woman. I am uh, living in Malta because I found myself into this place. <laughs> I came to Malta as a student, but after I fall in love to the climate, to the people, I love the sea and I stay here now. I moved to Malta because uh, we like the place, uh, because it's a, a very livable place and it's a community which has a lot of values. Uh, including the value of the family and the closeness of people uh, and uh, the, the tranquility of its, its people. I never had a problem and I have a good, very good friends here. Uh, it has a very special um, atmosphere here. It um, reminds me a lot of my childhood when I used to live in the UK. Really, when I came to here, I, I, when I saw Maltese people, I think they are about everything is 10 years, like, uh, like in other countries 10 years ago. Uh, the Maltese people are not bad to me. Most of the time they're kind and friendly, help. They're funny sometimes, they have jokes. They... Several people don't uh, like the idea of foreigners living here because it's, uh, they feel threatened by it, perhaps in the job market or culturally. They wrongly feel like um, people from outside Malta are a threat to them. Tegunu hafna fil constructions. Ati yado hafna fil ni na di ta ta shuale. Yekatsa sin vuta shuale malab malabish ma. Ati jo is bish yad mo amal ta pagin as nakse pa lo ati yado post lina el Malti. Dika malab el machajin. When I just arrived, I I felt some feeling of xenophobia here, and obviously it's very normal as well because the island is very small and the amount of people here is. Not very big either. So, uh, in some corners of the island, the people haven't seen many foreigners. Uh, Malta is an island that has a very interesting history as it's been conquered many times. So, when I was younger, I found that being foreign is not always very good. Um, then as I grew up, it gradually changed and you become more interesting and people have different worldviews. And then obviously at the university there are so many Erasmus students, there are so many foreign students that you blend in and it's, very, it's a very good experience, I think. At my school it's like was where mixed, mixed Maltese with foreign and foreign with Maltese, so. I think all Maltese people are very happy. They're a bit lazy maybe, that's why his life is very good. They're kind, always chatting a lot and very loud. <laughs> Sometimes, yes, they are lazy, but uh, also many of them are, are good. Yes, they are good in heart. Ina kontent ħafna lina Ewropej, imma nibza li globalment aħna xie dvabi Eurocentri ċiwiz. Eh, u fil-fatt għanna ħafna xie li talmu min pajisi uħrajna. Eħi dun ħawsu lejn il-modelli u fil-firxa kolla, mil-Brazil sa l-Afrika sa l-Europa sa l-Azja xie modelli differenti. din id-diversita jina dejjem sibta xaħħġa li li t-stimulani li... People, because of their differences, they can focus on those and they find themselves different. But generally I think that we have much in common and we need to really look into our common heritage rather than our differences differences take us apart, while when we look at uh, what we have in common, this is what brings us together. Okay. Well,
hemmhekk kumbatt jidħal tu tajjeb ħafna għax l-istess tgħaw minn żgħar. Meta tidra minn żgħar, dak huwa l-mod naturali kif kif titlab. Ma titlabx b'kunċetti li ħafna dak il-kbar poġġu lek f'moħħok, imma titlab b'mod naturali li nies huma differenti, imma nies differenti jidħaltu flimkien, jilagħbu flimkien, jitkellmu flimkien. I think there's a, a very positive feeling here about, about foreign people being here. It's very easy to integrate into society here, very easy to uh, set, settle in. We had some friends of ours that moved here three months ago and they've settled in. We want to have something to say. Much quicker than, uh, much quicker than we would, you know, or other people would have when you, when you move abroad. It's the most easy country now. For me, adapting myself here it was, is very easy. What I do uh, for a living is that I have a carpet store, being from Iran, that uh, is very much in line with my background and my knowledge and my culture. So, in a way, what I'm doing also is uh, promoting the culture of my country uh, in, in Malta, bringing together, uh, because I believe that we are all at the, part of one human family, no matter where we come from. So that contributes to that. Oh cool, you know, li kell vixna jitek ta' fajsi differenti di jama fascinali. Umetan li tkellu fuq ikkel, li tkellu fuq essenzi kolla mba, ti ċifiri ilin mil-kuluri, li tkellu fuq il-xam, il-tekxe, u daw l-affarijiet. U daw kukol ekka, es ni jikun et nistende di l-esperienza fejn nista nusa s-sensi tijej u nistumu l-sensi tijej b'mo ġdiet. This is a very good way to put together different cultures and to prove to ourselves that maybe some of the barriers that we have erected are just in our minds or they are something that don't exist. Iġi fieri jekk fuq livell individwali ma nħarsuċ lejn nħajja pala opportunta ġrida, ovvjament nibdaw nagħu ħafna barrieri. There is always good people to find in a place and the bad as well. But the most important thing is what you can offer in the community which you belong to. Well, of course, there's a lot of foreign people living here and it's wonderful to see how they integrate with the local communities. It's very important that, that one gets the sense of what, what the country is all about. So integrating locally is very, very important. This is Malta and if you like Malta, stay in Malta. If you don't like, we can go another place, you know. There's a kind of you know, community feel which is very strong, which I, which I really enjoy and um, that's, very, very, that's very, very important. The neighbours uh, of the same neighbourhood, they know each other and they, they, in a way, care for each other, which is a very important uh, element which in the modern cities and in the uh, big metropolis now is uh, little by little getting lost unfortunately. I would say that the presence of every single foreigner in Malta is, is, is enriching our culture. We come from a we are a society which has been welcoming people from different cultures and different religions for many years, centuries I would say. Malta is a multicultural society now and I think you seem very welcoming to people of all nationalities. I mean, it's a lot of different cultures, different ideas, different opinions, different things. Falatfal or Kim Tait Halt Matfal, Mukulturi differenti, Tal Muktara Fali, it Nasapina. It makes us more multicultural in general, and you know, I love people in general. I love foreigners, and I love meeting lots of people from different countries. I want to travel, so it helps. Definitely. I mean, we Maltese ourselves are a living example, each one of us, of unity and diversity. Each one of us is a product of different races that have come here during the centuries. The more people interact, the more cult cultures interact, uh, respecting each other, I think uh, it en enriches society and makes us realize that we don't live in a, in a bubble, but we're part of the world. It's a way of moving forward. It can er enrich our own culture, you know.
it is a change in culture and I think it's a positive change. And the change is part of our life. We never are still. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to see where the change goes and, and definitely to contribute. I guess that many of us would like to see harmony, would like to see a society that people live together uh, in, in great friendship. But then, if we don't make a move ourselves, if we don't do it ourselves, it's not going to happen. I got this feeling that in this world, I got to make a gesture all on my own. I got this feeling, got this feeling. Living, in this world. living in this world When you're whole lot better A lot better A little less cold Got this feeling Living in this world Be a whole lot better Feel a little less cold That we can be right next to me We can end this battle With unity Freedom, oh, for the people, give me some freedom. Freedom to the people, oh, freedom, oh, freedom, give me some freedom. Freedom